Here comes the Hulk. Where's he gone? Oh, we're all going in there. We don't know what's in the room. What, what did you say to me about don't go into the room before you've seen what's in there? I take it that wasn't the policemen that were doing the shooting. Well, hello, Shelly Rocks here. This is The Police 2. So, this is a game I've seen described as attempting to play XCOM with the cast of Police Academy. It's apparently a, a simulation style game where you get to run your own police uh, squad with some various characters. So, this is a first play, new game, and let us dive into the game and see what it's like. Okay. So is this my town? Necktie Headquarters. At approximately one in the morning, the Sharpwood Police Department received an anonymous call. The source said he knew where we could find the headquarters of the neckties, a gang of traffickers that recently arrived in town. Anonymous information is rarely reliable, but for Sheriff Wells, shutting down the neckties was the department's primary goal. He immediately went to the address indicated along with two other officers for backup. Okay. So this is going to be interesting because it is apparently turn-based so I imagine the, th the the green area is gonna be where I can move and then if I go into this area I'm gonna have no action points left to shoot so this already looks good um not really got the line of sight to see an awful lot of stuff it wants me to move to this spot here a policeman usually performs two actions per turn moving a short distance is one action okay okay uh, hide behind the generator. Any cover makes you almost invisible to the enemy. If he hasn't raised the alarm, an offender can spot a sheltered cop only if he approaches from the side. Okay, let's hide then. We have a visual. Okay, we've got a hostile. Hide behind the logs. Quite like the idea of that. Okay, don't stick your head out. So we're all going into cover. Oh, we didn't, we didn't read the, the clue on that one. It's more difficult to hit a person hiding behind full cover than someone behind partial. So that's partial. You can see the way it's coloured in like that. That's full cover, and so is this one. Let's get in full cover. Okay, we've got, we've got a couple of hostiles here. Suspect's turn. Should call it the perps. Oh, don't you go near him. Oh, it's so close. Okay, so that's two. I've lost sight of two. Don't really want to head in front of him though. Set an ambush. Okay. I mean that is an ambush there. <laughs> why would why would you go right next to him? If the enemy spots you, he'll raise the alarm during his turn. If the alarm is raised, cops are visible even if they're behind cover. Cover still makes you a harder target. Surely as soon as I step out here, he's gonna see me. Let's see. Is he gonna <laughs> Okay, he's right next to me. Whack the criminal with a bat onto the head, or erase the alarm and compromise the whole operation. Stunned and wounded criminals don't resist the rest. Okay, let's 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 put my bat on on his head. Okay, this one. Ow. Okay, need a, need a couple of people. Need to take this perp down. Arrested criminals remain on the ground and cannot relate. Okay, so let's click on him. Go on, cuff him, Dano. Okay, you're going to the clink. Right, so it says here, perhaps one of the criminals patrolling behind the minivan. Let's go and check it out. Okay, suspect's turn. Okay, he is indeed. Is he going to see me there? He didn't. Is that... Is that what I think it is there? Is that a, a bear? It is. It is a bear. Okay, so he wants me to now go around this obstacle. Another lookout who disappeared from the policeman's view and is most likely behind the logs. Okay, let's go and see if we can spot him. Oh, there he is. Shoot with a taser. Okay, can we shoot from a distance like here? Cops carry non-lethal gear aside from batons. A taser effectively stuns at a distance, but each shot requires a cartridge. Okay, it's taser time. <laughs> so someone else needs to go in and arrest him now, so one one move. And then the other Oh wait a minute, did you use your two goes? You did. Right, intercept the lookout. 
Enemies can only see you. Oh, enemies can not only see you, but also hear you. If an offender sees you from afar or hears a suspicious noise, he's sure to leave his post and check out the area. So, I need to go on and do something to this guy. Okay, let's stun him. Okay, we're stunning him with pepper spray. Okay, there we go. <laughs> okay. Hopefully I can stun... Well, I can capture both of these now. It looks like the stun for how many segments there are on, on the circle. Okay, let's get you arrested then. On the ground. Oh, what's... They've been busy. Look at all these over here. And then hide behind the railroad. What's... <laughs> we're hiding even though... <laughs> we're hiding even though we've just done... Uh, arrested you and left you on the ground. Right, prepare to breach. You can look into the room through windows or take a position next to the open door. Don't blunder into the house blind. Okay, we're going to have a little peek. And I need to arrest you. So, we're going to arrest you. On the ground. Come on, on the ground. Nice. That's all the uh, perps from outside arrested. Now we need to go and handle the inside thing. So, you're going to look for the window. Oh, I missed a tip again. We have a visual. Okay, we've got a visual. Is there a tip for this one? Another one by the window. Okay, take down the door. Okay, what's the tip for this then? So, only a policeman with an appropriate perk can pick locks or break down do doors. Noise from a broken window or door will attract the enemy's attention. Right, so we'll click on that. Is this the perk? Okay, battering ram. A policeman loudly breaks down a door or window. Okay, it's clobbering time. <laughs> That's like the Hulk coming through the door. Okay, we're going to shoot him. Firearms can kill or disarm a sub suspect and inflict serious wounds. A wounded person will die in a few moves unless he's evacuated. Gunshots immediately raise the alarm, so think twice before opening fire. Okay, don't forget to aim before you pull the trigger. Some parts of the body are harder to hit than others. Uh, do I just click it then? Click it. Oh, here we go. The criminal hand. So we're aiming for... We can choose an area where we want to aim. So we can go for... Oh, it wants me to go for a hand shot. Okay. There we go. He's dropped the gun. Now. Is he calling for backup? It certainly looked like he was calling for backup. Okay. Jimmy the window. Come on. Let's jimmy that window. Click on this. Click on this. And jimmy the window. There we go. Prepare to breach. Let's get in. Okay. Break open a window. That's cool. So you, you, you're not limited to uh, doing like one thing. You can do a couple of things. So this one's just gonna watch this. <laughs> he just launched himself. Smashes the glass and launches himself through. Okay. And the last one. Assume the position. Take out the door. Do we want to take the door out so soon? Here comes the Hulk. Where's he gone? Oh, we're all going in there. We don't know what's in the room. What What did you say to me about don't go into the room before you've seen what's in there? I take it that wasn't the policeman that were doing the shooting. Okay, so that was a, was that a flashback? November 21st. But today I wasn't so lucky. I mean, it wasn't just a regular funeral, was it? All Sharpwood showed up. Can you imagine? I had a teacher, Mrs. Is Dawson. Is that bread? I haven't oh, seen her peanut since butter the and jello. Grade. Figured she'd moved or. Is it? I, I mean, matches? It's not easy to lose track bread? of someone in this peanut town, butter, right? matches. And today I'm looking at her in the crowd, all alive and healthy. Imagine, right? Tins or something? And the crowd was huge. It wasn't even a crowd, more like a whole river of people. I mean, you look at all of them, and you can't even see the end. All the roads were blocked. Just thinking. Where am I? It's weird. There's this dead guy who's making it so an alive guy can't get his groceries on time, right? <laughs> I mean, I just wanted to say, I, uh... 
I really respect Sheriff Wells. He died a hero, right? Ask anyone. Everybody says he's a hero. Okay, so he did but die. I'm just saying, I got a job to do. I don't want to lose it. Nobody wants to lose a job because it's not easy to find a new job in Sharpwood, right? So, uh... <clears throat> the money's right there in front of your nose. Don't so, bother with the change. So who's this dude, then? Mr. Nash, I... Mr. Nash. I think, he was, was he, I think uh, Mr. Nash was in the first game. I just wanted to say that you, you don't need to call Mr. Summers. I mean, he'll be yelling at me either way. I deserve it, right? <laughs> I'm just... Uh, mm. Oh, by the way, those uh, cigars you asked about... Mm, uh... Caesars, right? Mr. Summer said we normally don't have them in stock, but we can order them. Maybe it'll take a couple of weeks or so, but what's a couple of weeks when it's a quality product, right? I remember one day I was looking- Forget it. I don't know how long I'll be staying. Hmm, oh, interesting. I, uh, I hope- I, I don't know why he's got I no mean, eyes. I hope that you won't be leaving too soon. You're like our best customer, oh, or at least one of our best customers, am I right? I know there's a lot of stuff going on. Lots of folks are leaving, even Pale Charlie left. Oh, no, he's even older Charlie. than you. I, he's 90 or something, maybe even 100. I I, I mean, I, I'm sure you'll find yourself a decent job, right? <laughs> this Corey doesn't I'm, stop talking, does I mean, he? Have a good yes. Go on, good get out, day, Mr. Nash. Goodbye. You don't get this on Amazon. This is the police too. Okay, so we've already seen the setup for the game. There's been a, a raid at that police hey, um, so department. We're this All gone wrong. Uh, what? And now we're taking what? over That's this right. uh, station. I guess we're taking it down tomorrow. I already called Uncle Dimitri. He'll cart it off okay. for us. Okay. <laughs> Might even get a couple of bucks Whoa. for it. Whoa. First, it's not a drawing. It's a tapestry, okay? A beautiful work of art. You didn't oh, know did for you? Us. Second, it's hanging there for a reason. And third, and most important, we're... Oh, you mean that drawing in the hall. Great. I'll get a hanger tomorrow so we can put the TV up there. And maybe a VCR, <laughs> too. Well, what do you think? Jesse, we are not taking down the tapestry. TV? That's not a bad idea. Sure, but I was thinking, well, you know, I thought we could put a snack machine here. You know, I'm tired of having to drive 20 minutes over to Bad Ears gas station for smoked cheese in the middle of work. <laughs> like, I've got nothing better to do, right? As if I, uh... You see how much like space got that some, uh, giant hard work thing stuff here. We can put a TV up, an arcade game, probably what? even a pinball machine. Speaking of which, my son moved in with his wife in Derry, so we've got an extra VCR. Only thing is, he took all his video okay. tapes with him. Okay, we've got some so really good stuff no, here. No, tapes are no problem. I've got lots of tapes. Lots Plus, of tapes. if we tell the guys that everyone's bringing in a couple of movies, then we... Look, she's gonna flip. You... Hey, what kind of movies you got? She's gonna all flip. Sorts. Bloody Shirt, Bloody Shirt 2, Bloody Shirt 3, Bloody Shirt 4, <laughs> Hard Boiled Women, Demons on Fifth Avenue. And you've got that movie where this pilot is flying around the earth, but he's running out of fuel over the ocean. That sounds a good so film. So he makes a deal with no, Satan, and film. Satan sends him to fight an army of skeletons and a skeleton general. What? You can't fuck with him. Yeah, that's the wind blows into hell. One of my favorites. <laughs> Goes without saying, that's every man's favorite movie. Am I right or she am I right? She is gonna flip. <laughs> when I saw him at the end, when the girl throws the sword into the fire, my heart jumped out of my chest. Betty almost needed to call the ambulance. Die. Come on, she's gonna to flip. She's gonna you flip. You need to take better care of yourself, old man. I've also got this movie. It's actually a cartoon, but it's for adults, you know? This guy gets the ability <laughs> to undress what? people with his mind. So he goes into work, and he works in a bank, and his boss is a real bitch. But the bitch has some great boobs, and she calls him over to her. <laughs> tomorrow. We'll just discuss it tomorrow. And she says there's some problem with this quarterly report. I think she's I giving up. paper got filed and wrong, and, and he asked what this shit is. <laughs> what she's giving hell, up. Gail? She's Sit giving down and up. Get ready to type. We agreed. Lily. We'll finish that damn letter of yours tomorrow. And if we're lucky, we'll even... Gail, take off your stupid hat and get back to your desk. I'm the sheriff and you'll do what I say. Oh, I'm the she's sheriff. she's the sheriff. Oh. Lily, 
You do know. You don't have to be such a bitch, right? Whoa, no one likes no one likes this new sheriff. Bad Ears gas station closes in half an hour, so if we don't finish this stupid letter in the next ten minutes, I'll be out of smokes until the morning. And if that happens, I'll be coming into work in a bad mood tomorrow. <laughs> and if I come into work in a bad mood, Just I... Just shut up and type. Okay, okay. Well, this sounds like the worst ever station to work sick. for. Let's stop taking half an hour on every sentence, okay? First, read what you've got so far. Of okay, course, so doing a we letter. won't be able to pay you serious money. It's like we won't be able to pay you anything at all. But I hope that you feel the same as me, that the safety of our native town of Sharpwood is a question of duty and honor and not of material gain. No, no, not just the last sentence. Read everything from what? the beginning. Everything. Lily, come on. We're Read it from the top. I don't want to hear it all. Dear Captain Carter, <laughs> I imagine you've already heard the sad news that has prompted me to write you. I'll be frank. That is a good this impersonation. This letter you're holding is a plea for help. The police department of Sharpwood All right. was deprived. <laughs> That's enough. I can't take it anymore. We'll just pick up where we left off. Do you think Captain Carter will even read this? <laughs> Lily. Okay, so she's sending this to someone called Captain Carter. They got him. The guy from the flower shop, remember? He's one of the neckties. We're sure this time. Where are they taking him? Are they bringing him here? They already did. He's here. Did he have the goods on him? Has he said anything? What What does he know? Well, you want to find out? Or are you just going to sit there? Hmm, interesting. So it's like we've arrested someone as a member of that gang who's at the start of the, uh, the game. Okay. He looks a bit roughed up. What happened to him? <laughs> is he well, falling falling off some stairs? As far as I understand, he had a hard time getting into the car. <laughs> yep. <laughs> right. Didn't like getting out of the car either. And he really didn't like the uh, stairs. He didn't like the stairs. And when we handcuffed him? Wow. That was no fun at all. And then when he sat down on a chair, he accidentally... Cut the shit, Charlie. <laughs> what? The sheriff asked a direct question, and I'm trying... Get out! All of you! Lily... I think it'd be best if you just... What's the problem, Gail? Isn't it best if the sheriff interrogates important suspects? Okay, so we've got some really when the commander good takes staff a personal here. interest in the work? Don't you think? Okay, guys. You hear that? Let's get out of here. Leave the sheriff to it. I think she's going to go super cyan in a minute. How many people are in that room, then? Okay. Just me and you. Whoever he is. Now, how is this going to fit in with the... Um... Okay, so it's going into like a narrative, uh, interactive mode. W Wally Melton. Okay, so we've got to choose one of these selections. So we can either have... You and your friends Lord Sharpwood Sheriff into an ambush and killed him like a bunch of cowards. Um, okay, or you're from around here, right? I'm sure you heard Sheriff was killed. What do you know about it? Or I know it's somebody in your gang that murdered the Sheriff. Um, so it depends if I want to play good cop or bad cop. I might go for that one. You're from around here. Let's see what he says for that. No, I'm not from around here. And this is the first time I've heard about this Sheriff of yours. First time I've seen you too. What are you, some kind of sec secretary? Whoa! Don't don't trigger me. Okay, I'm not leaving to until you tell me where the hideout is. Uh, as I understand that you never keep drugs at your base. Or okay, let's talk about something else. The drugs, where'd you keep them? Let's try that. Okay, he's not being very helpful at all, and it looks like his solicitor's now here. Could at least hide the suitcase. What? Oh, this? It's oh, just Charlie. It? Shut your trap and get ready to question the Ooh, suspect. Ooh, what is this? Is that a lie detector? Lie detector machine? Lily, I just want. I just want you to. You do understand, Gail, that this will soon be over. All of this. You understand hmm. that, right? I know. Lily, I know. I need to finish writing that letter to Captain Carter. Okay. 
So I'm terrible investigating, and now he's gone in there with a suitcase, which looks really suspicious. What on earth is going on? So I can hold that down and skip it, but I don't know if it'll skip a whole section or not. Okay. Somebody at the door. Now, is this back to me? Nope. Well, this is that, uh, what was he called? Was, he, was it Nash? It's a little bit wobbly, I think. We've been drinking. Hello. My name is Bogdan. Are Hello, you Bogdan. with your water supply system? Oh, I who's bet he? you're not. I am here to solve your problem. I, uh... Jack. Uh, excuse me, what? It's not so nice to run to the toilet outside in the cold, is it? Okay. Especially at our age. You go once, you go twice, and by then you've already frozen your butt off. <laughs> and it's lucky it's the only thing you've frozen off. Believe me, I know what I'm talking about. And you know what I'm talking about too, don't you? Uh, look, listen, this isn't my house. I'm just renting it. All the better. So the homeowner will pay for everything. <laughs> while you will enjoy the new toilet in warm so he wants and to fit a new inside toilet. Are you uh, are you are you selling toilets? You sell toilets at night? Don't be silly. Weird. You'll replace your whole water system. A new toilet in the house is well, it's the cherry on the cake. This is weird. <laughs> You're right. I'm here a little after hours. Uh, Mr. Um, well, you see, our farm is just taking its first steps in this business. So I can I don't only trust visit him. my customers after I'm done with my day job. But a toilet inside your house is doubly good at night, right? No, we don't trust you. <laughs> we don't trust you. Do understand your needs, sir. I myself had to run to the toilet outside for 20 years every night. But when I finally got a toilet inside my house, I please go. Just, just go. I want you to leave. <laughs> I know what you're oh, thinking. Oh, we're not interested. You think that in such a small house there's simply no room for a toilet? But I assure you, if you just allow me to come in for a moment, leave right now. I'm asking you to leave. I just want to save both oh, of us some time. Oh, he's getting That's triggered. All. I know that you'll change your mind. The next time you need to go in the middle of the night, you This is a little bit freaky. Damn, that guy was right. A toilet in the house is what every adult man needs. So, why don't I've we... asked you to leave. You need to leave. Now. Alright, alright. Okay, okay he's but going. I bet you won't last a week before you change your mind. I'm telling you right now, you won't last a week. Maybe maybe he's innocent. That was a little bit weird. Why is he not shutting the door? Okay. It's really confusing me. He obviously doesn't like in interacting with people. I take it he doesn't want a toilet then. Oh, we're going to put some soothing music on now. Settling down for a nice drink. Oh, cool. This is another bit I get to control. Dear Dylan, Oliver, and Edgar, I'd give anything to be sitting with you on the porch of an old house smoking a cigar, talking and passing the day. I know you have a lot of questions for me, a lot of unpleasant questions. It's not hard to hear in my head, it won't be so easy to find the right answers. Is it true that what they're saying about you? Okay, so 
My only crime was wanting to take care of myself and my family. I'm sorry it took me that long. Or my crime was I trusted the wrong people. I was used and then thrown in the trash. Um, let's go for the family approach. Okay. Why did you flee from Freeburg? It's not that I ran away. I needed time to regroup so I could go back and clear my name. Sometimes retreat's the only victory. Uh, I ran because I didn't want to be killed in prison. I know so much about... Yeah, let's go for that one. That's why we ran. So it looks like we're on the run from the, uh, the prison service. Why did Mom really leave? She decided she wanted to... With some... 30-year-old 30, 30 insurance agent. And I hope he gave her exactly what she wanted. Your grandmother once told me I'm too old, I don't have the energy. That's what... Yeah. Let's, let's choose that one. Did you have an affair on the side too? Uh, I wouldn't say that. Or... It was your mother. Yes, it was your mother. Blame her. Okay, why did you get in bed with the Mafia? Uh, I didn't go to them and left me no choice. Uh, or I got in with them because they can't be defeated, only controlled. Um, let's go for that one. Did you kill people? Ooh. I never killed anyone. I have many vices and no killer. Or I didn't kill anyone with my own two hands. Let's do that one. I gave orders that led to some deaths. So setting the story up quite nicely. How is your health? <laughs> not too good. I feel good despite part of your mother. Or oh, I'm not complaining. I'm lonely, I'm afraid. Um. Hmm. Let's go for that one. I wonder if this sets up the game. And your choices, this is like your character generation. Why didn't you just retry it and retire? I catch criminals, that's all I know. Or... Why? Because I had nothing else to do. Uh, catch criminals, that's all I know. Let's go for that one. What are you afraid of? Big bad wolf? Uh, I'd be caught locked in a cage and put on display. Or I won't have a chance to clear my name. Yeah, let's go for that one. What are you planning to do next? Hmm, interesting. Uh, I've changed a lot, although predictably, predict, predictability is still not among my vices. I know I have to do something, how far I'll have to go, or I can't tell you. It's not that I don't trust you, it's I, even I don't know. Hmm. I reckon we go for that one. Okay. I reckon that's the final one. Okay. That is like the biggest letter ever to send to someone. Looks like we're sending them some money as well, maybe. And drinking. Okay, back to the uh, sheriff now. Ha! We could hardly shut the guy up. He wasn't so tough. I didn't even get to the phase three. <laughs> what do they phase do with that briefcase? Well, we don't have a lot of time. They're moving their headquarters, but we should be able to nab most of them if we hurry. Okay, so this looks like it's going to a, uh, an actual mission now. Their headquarters. They always use a different place, usually an isolated house on the outskirts. Most of the time, these places have random tenants who don't even suspect that there's anything hidden under their floorboards. That way, the drugs can never be linked back to the neckties or the neckties to the drugs. You remember that little tavern called Frasetti? We went drinking there after graduation and broke that big mirror. Mr. Blaine's converted it into a house, and now he rents it out for almost nothing. Two weeks ago, an old man moved in. That's where and I under am. Under his floorboards, there's <gasps> 27 kilograms of Is that of what the Russian guy wanted? I'm starting to think that guy is leading us around by the nose. I'm betting there's four or five armed guards at the house. There's not. But you said it's a small place, right? Well, I bet there's two at least. I don't believe they just left the stuff under some old man's floorboards. Okay. Even if there is an old man living there, I bet he's in on it. Hey, maybe old man is just a nickname. <laughs> oh, there. I bet he's a right cutthroat, hunkered down there, ready to ambush us. Oh, no. Maybe he already... Well, you and Corey, go check it out. Take two cars in case it's not just an old man living in the house. Whoever you find there... Bring them in. Oh dear! And don't that, forget about the heroin. That's the last thing the rest we want. Of you will come with me to storm their headquarters. 
Sound good to you, Lily? Okay. She's not saying much. <laughs> Lily, Lily's not interested. Okay, calls. All events require your attention are displayed on the map and by a card and a call list. Okay, let's proceed. So it looks like this is the uh, area for the town. So we've got a call uh, about the traffic in at the tavern. What's this thing here then? Each call has a minimum professionalism required to ensure your cops can go on a call. The overall prof professionalism must meet the minimum standards. Okay. So we need to take at least 600. Uh, yes, yeah, so that'd be 500, 600. So we're, we have got enough to do that. So do I need to send these two? Fletcher and Bellow. Oh, cool. Here they go. So we're off to the uh, off to the tavern. Who was it again? It was around here. Is it hit this one here? Yes, this is where the old man is then. Okay, we've got two cars. And this is me absolutely smashed. And don't f Oh. I don't think this is going to go down too good. Okay. The police want to come in. Where's his gun? Oh, don't get the gun out. Oh, no, 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 no. This is bad. Department. Who's in? No, no, no. He recognizes him. Look at this. Uh, no, well, just look, Corey. Oh, you couldn't dear. Couldn't find anyone better to watch the goods? Oh, they just didn't bother. Or are we missing something? What do you think, Corey? Think we're this missing isn't, something? This isn't going to go down huh? too well. Is there some kind of special meaning to the fact that we've got drunk, dirty grandpa here sitting in the shack watching the goods? Maybe we need to crack the code here, huh? Well, oh, any yeah. ideas where they hid the powder? How about you look around while I... <laughs> while I interrogate the suspect. What huh? a horrible guy. <laughs> you. Ooh. What's your name, old man? <laughs> Boy. What did you say, old man? You need to answer nice and clear when a police officer speaks to you. My name is uh, Nash. Uh, Warren Nash. I'll I, tell uh, you something, Warren Nash. Fifteen years on the force. I've seen all sorts of dirty shits. This town isn't exactly upscale, in case you haven't noticed. <laughs> I've caught thieves, caught rapists. Murderers and drug traffickers. All part of the job, you know? I'm doing my job. Nice and easy, like a professional. But here you are. This this filth you're Well, this isn't very professional you don't make officer, it easy is he? to be easy. Filth like you drives me up the wall. With scum like you, I can't I just can't keep up the cold-blooded professional attitude. <laughs> I just can't. You He's know why, out. Warren? Because... Oh. Oh, I'm sorry, Warren. Pizza's here. I'll be just a second, all right? Oh. Shit. Charlie. What the hell? <laughs> he shot you the want phone. Just look for the fucking drugs while I'm busy with the fucking suspect, okay? <laughs> So, Warren, filthy things like you, you drive me nuts. Because you think that we'll never catch up with you. You think the police can't do anything. You think we just rescue cats from trees and help old old ladies carry their bags up to the porch. You, you think, you believe, you really, really believe that we'll never get to you. So you don't even have to try. You taking good care of the goods here, Warren? You ready for us here, Warren? Just waiting in ambush, Warren? You did fucking nothing, Warren! Fucking nothing! Because you thought we'd never come. But here I am, Warren. Here I am! 
What are you gonna do now, Warren? What's the big plan, Warren? Hey, I think I found something. You that hear that, Warren? Crazy. He found something. Next time, hide it better. Ooh. Well, this looks like 27 keys of heroin to you? I... I would say there's somewhere between 26 and 28 keys. Well, well, th well, that sounds like 27, <laughs> right? Yep. Yep, looks like 27. Okay, so we've got caught up so in a we whole weird thing now. You load it up in the car and I'll pack up the old man. And any of this other junk we might need. Okay, so I'm on the run. It looks like that, that character's on the run from the police. Uh, and now I've gone to, pri <laughs> gone to prison for all these drugs. And this is going to be the sh this is the sheriff, isn't it? I'd like. Uh, I need phone uh, call. I really need to talk to the sheriff as soon as possible. I am the sheriff. I'm Sheriff Reed. You can talk all you like, but if I were you, I'd wait for my lawyer, Mr. Nash. I don't. Uh, oh dear. You, I don't have a you lawyer. You said you're the sheriff. That's what I said. I uh, no no. I'm just. I are you Sharpwood Sheriff? I'm the sheriff. You uh, you could. Do you have the authority to... Look, I'm wearing a shiny star on my chest. I'm sitting here in the middle of the night, and even though I'm exhausted, I'm poring over murder files that no one else wants yep, to bother she's with. The so yeah, I'm the sheriff. I may not be used to all this, and I'm not sure I ever will be, but I don't have another sheriff for you, Mr. Nash. You might as well accept it. <laughs> Listen, Sheriff... Uh, sheriff Reed, right? What does he want? Great, Sheriff Reed. Uh, I need to talk to the sheriff, and, and you're the sheriff, so... What? It's you even better. Uh, I mean, older sheriffs sometimes. Well, well that doesn't matter. It, it doesn't matter. I, I'm not. I'm not talking about that. I. Uh, I just want to say that there's been a mistake. There's been a mistake. Uh, and I want to help you out here because I. Yeah, uh, because uh, there was a huge batch of cocaine <laughs> hiding in your house. I saw a mistake. You won't believe you didn't know anything about it. I rent that house. Only lived there a couple of weeks, and you. You know all that, right? It's easy to check, huh? Yeah, it's... Uh, uh, but, but that's not important. It's it's not that I... Uh, I I'm trying... Listen, Sheriff Reed. What is he, you, what is he talking you about? You have to listen to me very carefully. I'm a policeman. Just like you, you know? Oh. Okay. So you must be undercover. Is that it, Mr. Nash? No, 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 no. That's... It's Ex much more complicated than that. My name isn't Warren Nash. I... Yeah, I already knew that. Your fake documents are so bad they practically fell apart in my hands. If you, if you let me explain, I. Come on. Would you like to say see my, my name. real document, Sheriff? Say my name. Look, that humidor. You see it? What? That little box, the the little wooden box on the table. See? Looks like a jewelry box. It's locked. We'll crack it open in the morning. Well, wouldn't you rather open it now? Please, oh, he's got Sheriff the Reed, let's open it now, and, and I'll try to explain everything. Okay. I'm in a very difficult situation, and I'm asking you to listen to me. Come on, Just open the box? Just open the box, and you'll find my passport in there. My real passport. Oh. My name's Jack Boyd. Jack Boyd. The documents Boyd. that say I'm Warren Nash, I bought them for 90 bucks at the rail station. Please. Just open the box and I'll explain everything, please. Okay, intriguing. You say you were a cop, huh? Yes, yes, yes. I I was a cop. I, I was the chief of police, just like you. Look, it's a very long and complicated story, but I I assure you this is all just a huge misunderstanding. And, and the fact that I've gone into hiding here, the fact that I'm here at all, it's, a, it's an injustice that I want to correct. And I'm asking you to help me. Okay. Will she help or not? She's coming for the key, though. There we go. She's got the key. So there's literally just a passport in here. Oh, family photos. 
passport. Driving license. Oh, that would be his passport. Sheriff, Sheriff Reed, let's talk. I'm begging you. Where's she going? <laughs> she just left me. Is she having a bit of a freak out? Well, someone's having a freak out. I think she's just gone to look on Google. Oh, I've got eyes. What's this? Oh, is this the, uh... This is like a wanted poster. Sheriff Reed, let me... Do you even know what you've been accused of, Mr... Mr. Boyd? I... Let, let's just say I... I don't know if you know what happened in Freeburg last winter, but what did it had in nothing to do with the law or justice. I was used. You I... do understand that I have to report you to the feds, right, Mr. Oh, Boyd? Sure, no. Reed, if you do this, you you just continue this. I think, I believe that cops should help each other. So I just want to say, you seem like the kind of person We've who... known each other for five minutes, Mr. Boyd. I doubt very much that I've made any impression on you at all. Whatever you've got yourself mixed up in, I hope that... I hope that you find justice, if that's really what you want. But for now... But while I, for now, all I know is this: you're a criminal, and okay, they're she's going to report me to the feds. Your, your folder, your folder. That's a case file. Can, can I see it? Excuse me. I worked as a detective for years. Yes, I'm really good at. Even when I was, I'm really chief, good at half uh, of my solving cases. Work. If you, if you're having trouble with the case, she's I'm not sure I can that. help. Cops should help each other. My exact words, right? You think. You, you think that I... Listen, Sheriff Reed, what do you have to lose? You're the head of this police department. You've got to think rationally. I'm not trying to teach you how to do your work. I'm just... Well, just for a minute, forget about all that... The other... This whole awkward situation, okay? <laughs> awkward right? situation. You have an unsolved murder, and there's someone standing right in front of you who's offering to help. Maybe I'm an imposter, and I can't actually do anything. Okay. Maybe I'll even turn out to be a lunatic, scatter the file around the cell, and <laughs> dance around like a wild monkey. But maybe, just maybe, I really am an experienced cop who can help you find your killer. Don't you want that? Ah, it's just crazy. Don't you want to give me a chance since you've got nothing to lose? Don't you want a real criminal in prison, not some sorry victim of circumstance like me? That's police work. You might just say Catching no. the real criminals, right? Is she going to fall for it? Is she going to give me the case? Come on, come close I with the case. I guess I'm going crazy. She is. She's going to give me the case. There we go. Come on, let's do the wild monkey dance. Checkpoint. To solve the crime, you'll need to reconstruct the picture of what happened by placing the frames for the crime events in the right order. Figure out what happened, you should carefully examine the evidence and witness testimony. You have all the necessary frames, but two people are suspected of the murder. You need to analyse whatever information is available and figure out which of them is the true culprit. Hmm. So, the secret of the forbidden flesh. The dismembered corpse of Bob Finnegan was found on a display shelf in the meat department. Clues. His wife, I was at the neighbours to borrow some salt and I heard on their TV that some maniac killed in Ripton. The journalist nicknamed him Wrestler because he wears a wrestling mask. Okay, I noticed a large Latino man in the street with a big sports bike and he was just taking off a mask. I got home and his blood everywhere and Bob is nowhere to be found. You think that maniac came all the way out here from Ripton? Okay. What about the uh, victim's home bathroom? Bathroom's covered in blood. It looks like that's where the victim's corpse was butchered. Uh, body parts were laid on a counter as if it were a display. There's a crumpled garbage bag under the counter with traces of blood. The throat was cut in a single confident motion. Death came about almost instantly. There were no signs of struggle. The corpse was dismembered after death. Okay. Um, let's look at the neighbor. What does the neighbor have to say? That evening, Ruth came over to borrow some salt. It's funny, she works at the grocery store, but she's always missing something. Uh, said so she was going to go back to make dinner. And 
What else was there? Hmm. So there's a man in a wrestling mask. So this is, so I've got to do the timeline then. So that's the house. And that's how he ended up there from these photos. So watches him through the window. Men in wrestling masks. What what's that bit though? Now is that at the end of the story? Because when was the sports bag one? I was at the neighbours to borrow some salt and I heard on the TV there's a crazy maniac. Um as I was leaving, I noticed a, a man with a bag. So is that at the end? That was, I got a feeling that's right at the end. This has got to be the start, hasn't it? He was watching him from the start. And he approaches him. Kills him. Oh, maybe I need a... Uh, Maybe we don't need that one. We've got an extra one. Um, let's, let's put, can we put, put that one back? So it's that. No, 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 that's the wrong way around. So was it that one, that one, then that one? And then that's a, a loose thing? Right, how does this work? Okay, so I've got to split these parts between the story. Now, victim's wife, she was at the store, wasn't she? Oh, so these are the two suspects. So one of them is this random person that did it, and then the other one involves the wife. Ruth Finnegan enters a grocery store carrying a garbage bag. And did it say in here she was carrying a garbage bag? She were, she sat at my place for a while and said she was going back to make dinner for Bob. Hmm. So they're quarrelling over the soup. She approaches him with a knife. Does that. Gave him a beer. Oh, this is quite hard. To, so it looks like they did. They're in, they're in the house. They're arguing. I think that's that doesn't seem to fit in with the rest of it, does it? The garbage thing. It's got to be the butchery. Um, what's next then? Let's try that one then. She approaches him with a knife. She does that. This bit here doesn't fit in now. This beer. Is that it? Maybe. So I don't think I'm putting these in the right order. I think it would. I think it would come up and tell me. Oh, so it was found and on display in the meat department. So it's got to end up. I saw. Sort of see. So this is going to end up that somebody comes and takes. The butchery thing's got to happen, hasn't it? And then the cutting has got to happen. So we'll do the arguing. Yeah, do the arguing. Then it comes up with the... Ah, there we go. Sequence completed. So it's actually Ruth Finnegan that's actually done it. She killed her husband to, or husband to escape her unhappy marriage. The last straw was his criticism for her soup. Right, let's do indict. Do you really want to prep? Yes. Was I right or not? Let's see. Come on. That's who I think it is. What's, what's she going to say? Lily, are you there? Lily. Okay, come on. Lily here. Come in. Can you grab the box of flashbang grenades and get over here? There's okay. no time to lose. Is that we need support? Lily. Copy. I'm on my way. 
Okay, so it looks like we need help over at the, um, wherever this place is now, where the uh, headquarters is. So it's quite an interesting, uh, solving the puzzle thing was quite interesting then. I wonder if there was two solutions. I wonder if I could have used, no. if I did the Mexican, the, the wrestling in the right order, it would have been right. Lily, it's time. It's yes, time, Lily. just let me look at the plan. Lily, we've got everything covered. Gail, I need to take a look at the plan. Gail, the plan? I don't Lily, think he's got do you a plan. Want to look at the plan, or do you want to change the plan? I need to see the plan before I decide whether I need to change it. <laughs> she wants Gail? to change the plan. Has he got a plan? He's coming back with something. Oh, must be plans of the house, maybe. There we go. Roll a checkpoint. Things to do. Interrogate the necktie. Get all the information available. Outfit and assign your strike team. Usually it takes several days to plan the salt. This time Gail has sketched out the plan in a hurry. Okay, maybe you want to change something. Okay, and I'm not going to proceed any further now. I'm going to leave that there for now. So yeah, this is this is the police too. Looks like it's an interesting mix of um, storybook based game with the actual combat, uh, which I suppose it, it is it is quite similar to um, XCOM and those other based uh, turn based action games. So yeah, looks pretty interesting. So anyway, if you want to see some more of this on the channel, leave a comment below. And that is it for now. So this is The Police 2. I'm Shirley Rocks. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.